Welcome to the Sketcher Fest. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about how this event idea came about. Uh, it really was just a spur of the moment six months ago when with Gail and Jane and Mario, um, we were discussing he was going to be in the United States and we wanted to do something. And over the past few years, I've had the opportunity to go to these travel schedule festivals that are held in France. And they are fantastic events. Uh, they bring artists who exhibit their travel sketchbooks uh, in this big pavilion, like a hundred artists. And you can uh, meet them in person, talk to them, talk about the trips they took around the world, and see their art. And then you have this event bookshop where you can see all the books, buy the books. And I thought, why don't we have these in the United States? <laughs> I will be sharing with you some of my research. So I teach drawing in Lisbon. I did my master's in art education. And, uh, and I, I keep studying the topic of drawing and why we keep drawing. Um, and when we put the drawing on a wall and the painting, the painting always attracts us more because of the colors and the size, I don't know. And so drawing is, has been always my thing. So there is a form of drawing um, that is the drawing that we make inside the sketchbook. This, that's even more special because it can be a travel sketchbook. Can be Hello, uh, this is Elvin. It's first time I tried to um, be a KOL like Parker. <laughs> to show you what we have in Edmonds uh, in Seattle. So the festival we are having is called the Sketcher Fest Edmonds. So this is Gabby's daughter. Can you introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm here with the store. Oh, great. Yeah. And this is Gabby's wife. And his son, his whole family is here. So he's organizing a booth. And look at this sketch. Of, oh, Stephanie is here. <laughs> and all the sketches are waiting and going in. And Gabby is here. They're waiting for everybody to go in. Like Stephanie. She has her own booth. Yes. Why don't you introduce a bit on what you are showing today? Okay. Um, thanks. Uh, I have sketchbooks. Uh, these are older sketchbooks. This one is one I just finished in, or almost finished in uh, France and um, England. And then these are more pencil and watercolor sketches from travels. Uh, and then these are three ones I just did a few weeks ago in, uh, in Oxford, England. And then I have a stack over here. Oh, wow. That people can so flip through. So you are showing all your originals. And books. Oh, and her famous books. Wow. wow. Which Lovely. album you're in this one. Yes. I'm very honored. And then lots of uh, business cards for people. Cool, cool. So like... Yeah, I've never done this before, so this is kind of an interesting process to see how it So works. are you afraid of uh, showing your originals and every, let everybody touch you? I have a little note here. Please touch only the edges of the paper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid lovely, of that, in fact. Lovely, <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, see you. Have a good fun today. All right. Hi, David. I'm Elvin. Nice Hi, meeting Elvin. you. Nice meeting you. I'm Elvin from Hong Kong. Yes, I've seen okay. you. Yeah, David is one of the um, instructors today uh, on this event. Can you tell us what you have? Well, I have sketchbooks from a lot of my different uh, travels and just uh, the different kind of sizes. I like working on big sheets and, and through sketchbooks. And, wow. I, and I like also capturing where I stay, hotel rooms. Me too. Yeah. I'm going to show you what we have. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you. Nice meeting you, nice David. Nice meeting you, Alvin. Oh, Virginia again. I'm uh, doing another clip. Okay. So perhaps you can talk a little bit. Elvin. Oh, and Noah is here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
every sketcher master will have a booth. Look at Virginia and Gal. Look at what Virginia is showing. So she is have a show hand of all her works and you can approach the artist to ask her anything. Well, hey Alvin. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Good morning, yeah. Virginia. So what are you showing to the to your fans? <laughs> well, I've brought some of my original sketchbooks and some people have dedicated books that mm. are just for a particular trip. Mm. Mine is whatever I did that year. Mm. So there's everything in each wow, book. Okay, but I brought yeah. some of my favorites. Okay, great. Yeah. Let me show you what Virginia showed. Oh, and she's giving out a lot of yes. stamps. You can have a stickers, yeah, you can I will. have business card and then the cards are for sale so I example some lovely of those. lovely yeah. okay now comes to my sister Gail. <laughs> Gail, Hi, Alvin. <laughs> what are you showing this time your oh, words these are, these are um, sketches from my different trips and I have a map that shows where mm. that is and then most of these are accordion books wow look at those Japanese folk different trips lovely oh and then I have cards no cards that I'm selling as well uh, out in the lovely oh okay the business cards and these little stickers yes I'm gonna grab some yeah yep great she's showing all her Japanese folks and let's turn to the master Frank. Wow, you must be jealous on what I'm experiencing here, touching Frank Ching's sketchbook. Jesus, I'm going to cry. Later. Okay, I'm going to show you what we are dealing with here, with the view. And from time to time, over here, there's a big ferry who come in. And this is Mario. Hey! hey. I'm recording. I'm, I'm pretending I'm Parker. Okay. <laughs> you should. You should. Yeah. Okay. So this is a sketch fest. All the tables with the artists, mm. sketchbooks, originals. Uh, we will spend the whole day speaking to the, talking to the people. Oh, great! What are you showing this time? What? Uh? Wow, his famous huge book. Huge sketchbook that huge I used in book. Auckland. Yes. Auckland. Um, did you sketch anything in, in Edmonds so far? Of course I did. So let me show you. So in Edmonds I did the totem. Ah. Also the ferry with my folding pages exercise. Let me show you. Mm. This is the first view and then we unfold and we have a different view of the ah, ferry. And then we unfold again and it's supposed to have a surprise. Whoa! <laughs> like big watercolor colors. Yeah. Okay, this is nice. Don't don't touch this side. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, leave it blank. Okay. All right, Grace. See you Mario. Around. Grace Mario. Okay. And in all. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> <She's eating. laughs> okay, this is your book. Yes. Okay, can you tell Check us a little bit? So I like to tell people on my subscribe. Uh, I brought a bunch of travel sketchbooks. Mm. Uh, here is Wisconsin. Mm. Here is New York and Seoul and Kathmandu. But still, they can be a part wow. of the world. So these are all someone, original. Can I see your you might even find Japanese folk here? Someone too. who seems just like how you would be. Yeah, some street. originals. This is people crossing the street. Just a random selection. Hmm. Nice. Ah, Virginia should should have a folder like this, so yeah. won't touch on that. Oh, and she make a stamp. These are all sketchbooks. By herself. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, I catch you later. Also, this is no, no, no. This is a sketchbook from Mitchell. Oh, I get it. I get it.
Hello. Hi, I'm Elvin. Nice Hi, Alvin. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice meeting Hi, you. Nishan. Can you tell us a little bit of what you are showing today? Sure. So I draw sneaky art. Sneaky art is secretly drawn art of the world. Mm. I hang out in public spaces and I try to observe human activity in everyday activities of living mm -hmm. and just capture a bit of the magic of the things people do in cities. I'm fascinated by cities and I like to show all the things that different kinds of people come together to do in cities. Great, great. And uh, can you show me okay. your work? Sure. So, you want to show uh, me your book? So, this is a book of tiny people that I made last ah, April. Tiny book. I love and how you do it. Every day for 30 days, I walked to a new part of the city of Vancouver where I was new also. Mm. And I drew, I looked at all the people who live around me in my city. This and I lovely. made notes of what I saw and how it felt to be there. And in this way, I got to know my city and the people in it. Mm. So these drawings, these tiny people drawings I was just explaining now, they are a way to simplify and filter a lot of details. Yeah. And what I'm trying to do as an immigrant for the last decade in different mm -hmm. countries and cities is that I, with my art, I try to erase the differences between people and to until we are left with just the things that are common between us all. Lovely. So you could maybe look at this page and you might recognize somebody even if you've never been to Vancouver. Lovely. You, 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 ag like you ignore all the shoes. <laughs> no feet. No feet. Uh, not many <laughs> eyes. <laughs> but I love it. All right. I catch you later. Yeah. Uh, see you soon. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well. Yesterday we did. We uh, our workshops we do twice a year in Tuscany, and a lot of the people that come. I, we're, we're gonna get your contact. Where were you? I catch you a little bit later. Okay. Here we go with Rita here. <laughs> I'm pretending I'm Parker. Oh so, yes. Hi. Can you tell Hi, us? Parker. <laughs> <laughs> or Elvin <Alfred> Khan. <laughs> Alright, uh, can you tell us what you're having here? Well, here I have my uh, New York sketchbooks. I have, well, this is actually Seattle, but mm. um, this is New York. I have my current sketchbook. Mm. So this is from this spring and summer. This is from last summer. Lovely. Lovely. Some prints for sale. Wow. So every sketches, every master will show her or their uh, originals. And every uh, visiting uh, sketches can talk to the master face to face yes. and give them some tips. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. How do you like this format? I, I, this is the first time I experienced this. It's really amazing. It's, it's good. It's, it's kind of. The table is, is nice size. Mm. I wish I had a little bit more uh, yeah. wall behind mm. me. That's what I'm used to for in Clermont. Is to yes. have like a whole. This is what like, I try to learn, and then we can bring it to replicate. Hong Kong, maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice meeting you, Rita. Nice to uh, see you later. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, we have some um, sponsors here. Uh, also showing. Uh, their products, their goods. This one is Hotspot. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm morning. Elvin from Hong Kong. Welcome. Welcome Can you to introduce what you are having here? Yeah, this is um, a, a, a display from the Graphite Art Center. Mm. We are doing a show right now called um, Sketching Cascadia up, mm. at the, up at the 2nd Main Street. Mm. And it features all the artists that you will see here at Sketcher Fest. I see. Yeah. I see. And then next door here is Art Spot. Uh -huh. Art Spot is an independent family owned art store. And these are both my kids. I'm so proud. Mm. And it's on good old fashioned Main Street here at uh, Right here, Ned? Yeah, I, I, I was there two days ago. How did you like it? I loved it. I like the skylights a lot. Yeah. <laughs> With a lot of natural lights and, and the space is very, yeah. very cozy. Um, uh, independent art stores are kind of becoming a rare thing, so we're mm. so glad the community supports us and we got through COVID and we're still here. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Okay. 
this is Atu Kit. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's super fun. They don't obviously have other ones. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mini. Those are so cute. We also have steam and ember. We're taking one of these books with me because, like, it would essentially be like working with a tone canvas. And like, I love like that that feeling. This is just a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, we have a being able to just you know master pull. Yeah, check it out. Let us know so that we can put you on the list. But but from a but from a from a from a company that does the right thing. <laughs> and we have Catherine here. Oh, from yes. Smith. Thrilled to be here. Thank uh, you, yes. Alvin. She's regular on in all our symposium as a longtime supporter. Oh, it's a pure pleasure. We'd be lost without going. We love every moment of it. We yes, value uh, it greatly. Daniel Smith, we always <laughs> love that. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Also, what are you showing this time? So, right here we're showing, this is just paint outs of our full range of 266 colors. Wow. And then, and then further on down, we have Paul Wing, who's actually doing some hands-on work and giving an experience for Okay, what are you doing, Dalo? I am playing with color, making a mess, and showing you why I like the new smooth colors. Yeah, so that's my oh. role here. Hello, hi. Welcome. I, I should bring you some more flowers. Oh, please. Uh, <laughs> So you are taking Parker's uh, job here? Yes, I am um, Parker today. Parker number two? Yeah, I'm Parker number two. <laughs> Hello, good morning, friend. Good morning. Good morning. I'm uh, doing an interview on every master. Can you tell us a little bit of what you are showing today? <laughs> I, I, you know, I am so moved by your original sketches. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Are you still sketching a lot? Not as much. Not too much like, like before, huh? Okay. I, I still remember you taught me in Singapore. You said um, you, you should finish the skeleton of the building in six to eight strokes. When it rains, you can still have the building. Otherwise, you will, you will only have the window when you leave. <laughs> Thank you for the tips. I'll be, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. be telling my students too. <laughs> like this. this just captures that guy. You just you pull that one out amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for coming in. Hello, This you. is Mary again. <laughs> I'm pretending I'm Parker to interview every okay. master. So can you tell us a little bit of what you're showing today? So today I'm showing my books from my journeys around the world mm. and especially those places where I found women that I met and resonated with me combined with urban sketching experiences mm. and uh, all bring back significant memories and I can Imagine the smells and the air and the music and the food. Yeah. So yeah. Good, good. This is the way uh, sketching can bring you. Wow, I love the words. A little bit chaotic, but it's in system. <laughs> Sy systemized. <laughs> organized chaos. Yes, organized chaos. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alvin. Thank you. So great to see you. Yeah, yeah, so great to see you after all this year. Okay, this is Gabby's food. Hi, morning, master. Good morning. Oh, how come you have a Korean passport? It's the yeah. Korean Urban Sketches passport. I got it from the Urban ah, Sketches in Chile. Okay. He song didn't give me one. Yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah, I gotta ask him for one. <laughs> so what are you showing this time? 
Well, these are, I have some of my sketchbooks, travel sketchbooks, uh, some of my books, and uh, postcards. This is the, the drawing I did for for the poster, uh, and I brought I brought the original too. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can find it. Hello. Here's the original. Wow, lovely. One to one. So the colors are a little different from the uh -huh. original, but... But very nice. So this is just actually just right outside. Oh, it's over there from a bench. The ferry is You there. can do the same from the same bench. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So can you tell us a little bit about this festival? Well, um... This is an event to celebrate the art of travel sketching and connecting with places uh, through art, uh, taking our sketchbooks when we travel and documenting our experiences. And there's so many travel sketchers all over the world who create uh, this work. And I went to a few times to a big travel sketcher festival in France. It's called Rendezvous de, du Carnet de Voyage and they have like more than a hundred artists in a big event arena uh, presenting their work and people go there to see their art some people like travel some people like the art and the sketchbooks and i thought wow why isn't this in the united states so we have a great urban sketching community here with our local chapter and we decided to do it so this is the first time we do it we have 15 artists most of them are local, and we invited a few from out of state, from California, New York, uh, Oregon. And looks like people are enjoying it. So if anyone wants to come visit Edmonds, it's a beautiful place, perfect weather in July. Okay. And they can sketch with us. We also had a day of workshops yesterday, and today is the main festival event open to the general public. So are you planning to have it every year? We hope. We would like to, uh, uh, if we can pull it off again, yes. Okay. Uh, the idea of having a local, regional place where we can do this uh, is what uh, would be wonderful. And we have Graphite Art Center, uh, where we had the opening reception, a wonderful, wonderful uh, art uh, center that has hosted yesterday and the day before. And today we are at the Edmonds Waterfront Center. Mm. This is the senior center for Edmonds. Uh, they do a lot of programs for seniors here and they, we were lucky that this space was available and we could rent it uh, and I just when I walked in here the first time and saw the views of the water and the ferry I thought we have to do something yes so, yes a uh, beautiful place yeah it's just coming together right now yes lovely it's lovely. great to have you here Alvin I mean, I mean yes, thank this you. is this is uh, so I'm, I'm good so so happy to the, to make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time we need to have you on a, behind yeah. a table with your Maybe honest... more, maybe more. I will tell everybody to, to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Yes. Hello, we have Sunil here. Alvin, how are you? Nice I know you here. very well. <laughs> thank you. So, what are you showing this, this time? So, Alvin, I uh, this is my book uh -huh. called Cairo to Beirut. Yes. Uh, it's a trip I made in 2018 following a Scottish artist who made that journey 200 years ago. Oh, okay. So I followed in his footsteps and uh, sketched what he sketched. Oh, okay. So same spot. Same spot. Many, many, many of these are his and mine. Mm. Like a tribute to the it's a tribute original. To I can't tell I, you how, I, I, much, I, how much I, I, I love your work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sometimes I do that too. I will um, go to the same spot as the, uh, the master ah. did in the many years ago and sketch the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah, this is, this is a wonderful experience. Even the dead masters can teach. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, nice Alvin. Thank you. Oh, we have hey, Alvin. here. Yeah, how are you doing? Good. So, what are you showing today? So, I'm showing just collection of my uh, sketchbooks. Uh, I don't have, you know, uh, I don't have loose 
sketches on the papers, but mm. mostly all my my works are in the sketchbook. Oh. You are also using, is it Procreate? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm using Procreate for my digital work, uh, and usually colors. Mm. Lovely. And I'm an architect, that's why I have also some uh, I'm an architect some too. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> architect Unite! <laughs> Right. So I see you are a line pe person as well. I am, yes. So line, same as me. That's right. Line is always <laughs> start with the perspective. You know, do all the lines first. Confident line. That's, and then that's my mantra. Why not no color? Yeah, a little bit color. Exactly. Bit color. Exactly. Yeah. I learned it from uh, uh, Stephanie. Put a little bit of color. Just a little bit. Color. Yes. Yeah. A little, just a, as a touch like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me take a look. Hi, James. I'm doing an interview for oh, you are. everybody. Okay. Okay. What are you showing today? I'm showing all my sketchbooks that I've used. Some of them are local, but most of them are travel sketchbooks. Mm. You know, where I travel far away. I consider traveling in my town travel sketchbook too. <laughs> yeah, I saw you have a lot of display in the uh, graphite. In graphite, yeah. yeah. I do. Lovely. Yeah. I actually helped organize that show, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the way you present it, you know, yeah. like with a little clip. Yeah. And also the sketchbook uh, put on the table with a cover. Yeah. I stole that idea already. Okay, good, good. Yeah. You know, the actually graphite did that whole design. I, see. I just collected the sketches, mm. but they did a really nice job. I know. I know. The space is wonderful yeah, too. It is. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me great. Show I'm glad my you're friends. Here, you know what you have here. I see you use mixed media. I do. Sometimes very bold and sometimes very fine. Yeah, that's right. And so, what is your favorite media? Tool. Mm. Oh, marker. <laughs> a sharpie. Sharpie pen. I use it a lot. Okay. And of course, water colors. And a lot of Japanese coal. Lots of Japanese. Wow. And I think the main difference is. The Great to see you, Jane. All right, you too, Elvin. Thanks for coming. I've been involved with Urban Sketchers for, oh, I don't since about 2011. Yeah, and uh, I've been drawing my whole life. This is my CFO and driver, and, uh, and grown up in the room. And uh, I'm just really jazzed to be here. This is over the top, exciting. I agree. Uh, really the first travel workshop thing yes. in the country yes. and uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Yes, and what are you showing this time? These are all sketchbooks mostly that have been done during our workshops mm -hmm. and uh, then there's others that are just vacation things and that's a lot of fun as well where magazine articles, I've got all my junk over here so that people can look at the actual look material. At look at your weapons. Right, and this is a little booklet with 10 years of handouts in it so that we don't have to carry the actual handouts. And this one is a gift for Alvin Wong. Oh, lovely, lovely. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> I hope I did a good job on interviewing everybody. And uh, let me show you a bit on the venue. This space is nice, decent size, with 15 master showing their work. And there will be a artist talk too. Now that you say that, can you talk a little bit about what different and the same means? Right, so um, if you get a chance to read the introduction, um, it really happened while I was uh, drawing this woman on a beach one day and we didn't speak the same language but somehow we made this connection. And soon before the designer really put together the book, so...
things that we're experiencing, on the events that we're living. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to talk about my philosophy as well, give you some tips, and also showcase a couple of projects that I was doing recently. Um, one of them is the New York Reawakens book. Teach sketching not as a way to create a reasonable facsimile of what you're looking at, but as a key to discovery, a kind of a doorway, so that you are really trying to eke out the essence of a place, kind of get under the skin of a place. Why is Marrakesh Marrakesh? You know, at the other end, why? What's Cleveland about Cleveland? You know, about any place you go, you can look for that deeper story. Uh, following in the footsteps of a Scottish artist called David Roberts, who traveled this route almost 200 years ago. This is a route that goes, uh, you know, start, starts in Cairo, crosses the Eastern Desert, goes to the Sinai Peninsula. And brainstorm and, you know, drew and put our ideas up and put the images up on that whiteboard. And that's how we put that work together. But when we meet together, we do it and we so it was really an interesting process. Place. It was what we were really after, and we think that that really applies to the travel sketch. So, we're showing you an example of some very similar kinds of uh, landscape, but in very different places and very different people. So, Eduardo, Plasha, am I saying that right, Mario? Is it Plasha? So, oh, okay, sorry. I'm just not sure if I'm pronouncing Eduardo's name correctly. This one, uh, I put myself in the category as a, as a world travel sketcher. So it's Seattle, USA, and beyond. And Jim Richards, who's here, is in the book, and he's also in the world travel sketching category. And one of the questions I like to think of is... Uh, this is one of the questions I like to think about. It's a question I ask the readers of my newsletter every few weeks. And I ask them to think about it, not because it has an answer, but because it has a lot of interesting answers. Who are they? <laughs> Hi there. Well, these um, jazz band playing behind me, they are with Mount Lecturers High School, uh, where they have a very uh, nice jazz education program. And the high school uh, is volunteering. This jazz band is volunteering to play here today for tips. So they are really uh, making the atmosphere of the waterfront even more exciting. It's like a nice blend of music, arts, and visual arts with all the sketches around.